Hi everybody, Ann Katzif of Ask Design. I'm going to show you today how to create an InDesign file with bleeds. Adobe InDesign is my go-to uh, software program for multiple page documents such as books, magazines, and brochures. You can also use it for single page documents, of course, um, and, and digital pieces. Um, for many years, I used Quark Express and loved it. It's another fantastic publishing program. But then I made the switch to InDesign when it came out because I was already using other uh, Adobe products such as, you know, Photoshop, Illustrator, Acrobat, Dreamweaver. And I like the idea of uh, having a seamless integration of all my programs. So I've been happy about the switch. But if you're using Quark Express, that's a great program as well. Now, what the heck are bleeds? So here's clue number one. Print pieces often have bleeds. Not always, but often. Uh, digital pieces never have them. Clue number two. Bleeds are needed when colors and or images touch the edge of the paper. So here's the full answer. What the heck are bleeds? If your print design layout has images and or colors that touch the edge of the paper, then you must include bleeds in the InDesign document, and you must also extend these images and colors out one-eighth to one-fourth of an inch uh, beyond the edge of the paper. That's called the, uh, the bleed area, with, uh, the one-eighth to one-fourth area. Um, otherwise, things will not print as you intended. The extra space is the, ex is the bleed area, and the edge of the paper is called the trim because pieces with bleeds are actually printed on a larger sheet of paper and then trimmed down to the correct size, the bleed is what gets trimmed away. It provides a small amount of extra space uh, to compensate for the movement of the paper on the printing press. So let's get down to the details of how to uh, actually create the InDesign document with bleeds and then how to create the bleeds once you're in the file. Hold on, we'll rock and roll. Okay, so the first step is naturally to launch the InDesign program. And once you do that, you get this splash screen, uh, the new document screen. So um, for this example, we're going to the Print tab up here, and I'll choose Letter. And then on the right side, you want to fill in the, um, the name of the document. I'm naming it Brochure Example. I'm keeping it at uh, eight and a half by 11, but you can change those measurements as needed. And also, um, sometimes you may need facing pages, but in this case, I'm leaving it at eight and a half by 11, and I'm, I'm going to create the facing pages just simply by folding the paper in half. So I'm going to change the orientation to landscape so that 11 inch width will actually be um, split in half to get the left and right side pages. I'm having eight pages for this document. I tend to leave these columns and gutters alone. I do want to probably start the page on page one. Um, and then the margins, the default is a half inch. Uh, if that's uh, you know, a, a good number for you, then you can just leave it. Sometimes you'll need to change that as well, depending on what your specifications are, especially for books. Now, the standard bleed width I mentioned earlier is anywhere from one eighth to one fourth of an inch, and your print vendor should be able to tell you that right off, right off the get go. So, uh, as a default, one eighth of an inch is um, is the measurement you should use. Now, the slug area, sometimes um, print vendors do want you to indicate um, some print information about the piece, so you'll need to add a slug area, but quite honestly, that's 
really not used very much anymore. So it's um, uh, almost gone the way of the dinosaur, but not quite. So um, for this purpose, I'm just going to leave it at zero. And let's just double check, make sure we didn't miss anything. I don't think we did. And check all your numbers, pause this video if you need to, and then when you're all set, uh, you can click the Create button. One last thing here, um, when this link is activated, you just have to put in one number. I'll change it just to show you and tab over, and all the numbers will change to be the same. If you don't want them to be identical, maybe in the, the margin area that would be the case, um, you can deactivate the link to um, put in individual numbers for each of those fields. So back to one eighth of an inch. I think we're all set. Let's hit the create button and we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so here we are in the InDesign file. We've got the 11 inch wide sheet of paper folded in half. So then we have the left and right side. Here the white is the paper. I'll zoom in. You can see up close and personal. This empty space on the gray area is the bleed. So we've got the edge of the paper, then nothing, because that's where the bleed should be. And then this red margin indicates the end of the bleed. Let me zoom out. I'll, ch I'll shut off guides. And you can see there's nothing yet bleeding, even though we've built a bleed area into the file. So this is a point of confusion for some people. Um, you definitely want to uh, build your documents with the capability for a bleed. That's good practice. But there won't be any bleeds until you actually extend your colors and or images beyond the trim area. Okay, so now let me show you what to do to get the image to actually bleed. You select the image and extend it to the red margin there, the red guide. I shouldn't say margin, that's wrong. The margin is this pink area. And then I'll bring that over just to make it look good. Okay, so that's what things should look like when you want them to bleed off the edge of the paper. And I'll show you, without the guides visible, how it looks as if it were printed. It looks like it's going to the edge of the paper because it is. And on the printing press, they would print this whole sheet on a larger piece of paper than the 8.5 by 11, and then trim it down so that it becomes an 8.5 by 11 sheet with a bleed. Okay. So that's the scoop for bleeds in InDesign. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. Please feel free to leave comments and um, other tips that you may have about bleeds. Those are all welcome and I thank you for your time and have a great afternoon. Take care. Bye-bye.